I'm going to show you two tricks that I use in iMovie um, to do panning and zooming. Um, let's say you filmed uh, a play and uh, all of a sudden the action goes from a whole bunch of actors on the stage to a small group of actors and uh, you didn't zoom in at the actual performance. I'll show you how you could do that. So what I would do is I would uh, jog along until I find the spot where I only have a few actors on the stage. I'd right click there and split the clip. Then what I'd do is I'd click on this little gearbox and you could instantly crop in, but it looks better if it slowly zooms in like you would with a camera. And here's how I do that. So I go to cropping and rotation and I turn on something called the Ken Burns effect. Ken Burns effect sort of pans across the video. And so what I do is I say that I want it to start zoomed out so that it matches the video on this side over here but I want it to end, and I'll push the little switch button here. Sorry, let me try that one more time. Crop, Ken Burns, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there's my end, and I zoom it in, and the red square is where it will zoom to. So then I'll put the box around the people in there and push done. So what it does now is it zooms in slowly there, but it does it over the whole entire clip. What I really want it to do is zoom in, finish, uh, and then pull back out so that it's wide again by the end of the clip. And so here's how I do that. Um, let's say I, uh, I just jog along. Let's say I want the zoom to happen in um, 10 seconds. So I've changed my scale down here so that each square represents 10 seconds of time. Uh, and let's say uh, that's the first 10 second marker. So I'm going to right click there and split the clip again. So now what happens is that zoom happens in 10 seconds, but that same zoom then starts to happen again for this other clip. What I'm going to do is I want it to zoom out at the end in the last 10 seconds, so I'm going to split the clip again down here. So now you're going to see it's going to zoom in, zoom in slowly over 43 seconds, and then the last 10-ish seconds zoom in again. For this one, the last one, it's super easy. All we do is... Um, Double click on the crop icon and we swap the start and end position like that. So that means it starts zoomed in and zooms out. So check this out. So as we go from here to here, it starts pulling away again so that it's wide by the end of the shot. The last part we have to deal with is this part here. So I come back into cropping. I'm going to swap my start and end and then just go to regular crop and say done. So now what happens if I watch the clip back is it slowly pans in over the first eight seconds until it hits the second block of video, at which point it just stays cropped in just like that. And as we reach the end of that scene and it transitions to the other block, it starts to zoom out again. So that's how I zoom in on um, just one specific piece of action. Here's how I'd create a pan. So this is a little more complicated, a little more work. But we're going to do the same sort of thing. So maybe I start off with a wide shot, and maybe somewhere along the way, I split my clip because I want to pan along the characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, again, cropping and rotation, Ken Burn if Burns effect. And for some reason, it almost always makes you scale the start one, but we just swap it. So I'm going to go from zoomed out to zoomed in, then I'm going to pan across and zoom back out. So then, so we're going to zoom in. I'm going to split my clip. I'm not worrying so much about how much time this takes right at this point. I'm just kind of doing it quickly. So let me say done so you can see what happens. So it zooms in. Now, once we're zoomed in, we want to pan across. Uh, but at the end, after the pan across, we want to zoom back out. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to swap our start and end. I'm going to take my end, scale it down again to the smallest size that'll go and shove it right on the far right hand side like that and say done. So now the first one zooms in, the second one pans across, but then we want to split it at the end and zoom back out. So again, I right click, split clip, double click here. Oh, sorry, I lied. Click on the, uh, the crop. And uh, we want to swap, swap the start and end again. So it starts here, and then we want it to end 
zoom back out. Done. So check it out. Zoom in. We pan across so that you get a chance to see all the characters in the play close up. At the end of the pan, it zooms back out so you can see everyone again. And that's how you do a pan and zoom.